Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some fire stick tips and tricks that you need to know about that can not only improve your streaming device, but just improve your overall experience using the Amazon Fire Stick. Many of you may not be aware of this device's full potential, and I just want to show you some Fire Stick tips and tricks that you guys can learn about here in just a few minutes. You'll see I am on a screenshot guide, and guys, I do have a complete guide on Fire Stick tips and tricks that includes even more than I'm going to explain in this video, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below for more information. All right, guys, I am hopping over to my Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max to show you some of these Fire Stick tips and tricks in action. And again, this will work on any variation of the Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. So guys, the first Fire Stick tip that I want to show you is sideloading third-party applications. Now, many of you may be aware of this feature, but if you are brand new to the Amazon Fire Stick, we can install an application called Downloader. If I go over to the Amazon App Store and type in Downloader, you will see Downloader here under Apps and Games. Now, if you're following along, go ahead and click that. And then I'm going to go ahead and install Downloader on my device here, and then I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So once you install Downloader, click Download here from the Amazon App Store page. And then we're going to wait a few seconds for this app to install. And once Downloader has finished installing, I'm going to click the Home button on my remote. And then after I do that, I'm going to hover over the Settings icon, scroll down and click My Fire TV, click About, and then click Fire TV Stick 4K Max or whatever this says here until you see the following message. No need, you are already a developer. Now once you see that message, click the Back button, click Developer Options, click Install Unknown Apps, click Downloader, and we have now installed, excuse me, we have now allowed the ability for Downloader to install unknown applications. And guys, this is the first Fire Stick tip is how to sideload apps on your device. So after you enable unknown apps on Downloader, I'm gonna scroll down from my home screen and click Downloader to launch it. Then click Allow, click OK, and you have now installed the Downloader app for sideloading applications. And guys, I am gonna take this one step further by clicking on the search box here, and I'm going to come up and enter the following code, 298344 double check that and click go. And I do have a complete separate video for this that I will leave a link to, to in the description below as you are, are being redirected to our IPTV wire quick links page. And guys on our quick links page, all you can do here is if you scroll down, you will see dozens of streaming apps and tools that you can install with just one click. So again, guys, just to reiterate, this is the first fire stick tip of sideloading third-party applications on your device. All right, guys, the next Fire Stick tip is the ability to use external video players. Many of you may not be aware that you can actually use some external video players instead of just the default media players that you see in various streaming applications or live TV applications, and it's just very common. So what I'm going to do here is from the last step, I'm going to launch Downloader and go back to our Quick Links page again. And before I forget, I would come up here in the top right and click this option with the three lines. I would click Save, Current Page to Favorites, click Save, and now our Quick Links page is saved to your favorites. So to get an external video player, simply scroll down on our Quick Links page and you will see here MX Player Pro. So to install MX Player Pro, just hover over it and simply click the OK button and then wait a few seconds for this external video player to install on your device. And then once you're seeing this, if you follow along, click install and then just wait a few seconds here while MX Player is installing. And guys, after we have installed MX Player on our Fire Stick, we can then use this inside various applications. So I'm going to click done, click delete click delete again, and now I'm gonna hit the home button on my remote, and I'm not going to launch any applications, but once you have MX Player installed, you can then integrate this inside various streaming applications and live TV applications, 
and it doesn't help provide a smoother playback and reduce buffering with external video players. So that is the second Fire Stick tip. The third Fire Stick tip I wanna show you is being able to block ads and updates. So guys, from the home screen of the Fire Stick, if you hover over the settings icon here and you scroll down and you click preferences, and then once on preferences, if you click privacy settings, you will see various options here. Now one is device usage data. I would recommend turning this off. Collect app usage data. I would also recommend turning that off. And then also interest-based ads, I would turn that off. And you can even take it a step further here and click data usage monitoring. And you can turn that off as well. And guys, by doing this, you are not only you know blocking ads that Amazon gives you, we were also adding an extra privacy measure on your device. So again, this one's quick, but just a third fire stick tip here of blocking ads and updates and also improving your privacy settings on your Amazon fire stick. All right, guys, a fourth fire stick tip I wanna show you is clearing app data and cache to help improve device performance. So if you come over to the settings icon here and you scroll down and you click applications, and then hover over Managed Installed Applications. Now this may look different for you depending on you know, how many apps you have installed, what type of device you have, but you'll see on the right, there's this thing that says internal space. And you'll see I still have quite a bit of internal space left, but you know, a lot of times the Fire Stick, since it's very limited in internal storage, we need to keep a close eye on this. So if yours is full, one thing I would suggest doing is clicking Manage Installed Applications and then coming down here and then clearing the app data and cache for the applications you don't use. So for example, Amazon Music, if I click this, click clear data, come back, click clear cache, that will start to free up some space the more applications you do this for. Same with Amazon Kids, I do not use that application. And same with the downloader app. If I click the downloader app and I click clear data, clear cache, Guys, the more apps you do this for that you do not use in the background, it will free up all sorts of space. So if I do this for the Silk browser, I'm gonna come back here and now what you should notice is you have more internal space left on your device after doing that. So just a cool little Fire Stick tip here that can boost your device performance. All right guys, so a fifth Fire Stick tip is that you can use a built-in electronic program guide or EPG on the Amazon Fire Stick for hundreds of free live TV channels. So if you hover over live from the home screen and you scroll down and you click on guide, many are not aware that the Amazon Fire Stick and Fire TV devices come with dozens and dozens and if not hundreds of free live TV channels. Guys, I do have a separate guide here that shows you how to set this all up and how to add and remove sources and just other variations and edits that you can make to this electronic program guide to give it what you want here in this EPG. So guys, I'm not gonna play any content here, um, but in addition to this, if you do wanna get more information, you can hover over to the settings icon here, scroll down and click the live TV icon and you have all sorts of options here. You could add channels to favorites. As you'll see, I have 362 channels currently being pulled in from Prime Video, Freevee, and also News by Fire TV. Now you can add sources such as Pluto TV, Red Bull TV, uh, Zumo Play, Tubi, and other verified applications that have live channels. So guys, just a tip here, for those unfamiliar that you can access on the Amazon Fire Stick. Now guys, a bonus Fire Stick tip is the ability to change your IP address on your device. So if you log on and access a VPN here, now in this example, I am connected to Surfshark VPN, and this is our number one recommended VPN at IPTV Wire. I do have a special discount link for Surfshark below this video that does help support myself and this channel. 
but regardless of what VPN you are connected to, you will see a new IP address. Now, for example here, I am connected to Kansas City and I am not located in Kansas City. So I am getting a custom Kansas City IP address. So my connection to the internet is now anonymous for my ISP and just other third party app developers and anyone else trying to snoop on your IP address. So just a bonus tip here of changing your IP address. And guys, I do have a separate guide for that as well. And I can leave a link to that in the description below. But guys, that's it. Those are some fire stick tips and tricks that you can start using today to improve performance and your overall streaming experience. Again, this is Bodhi. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. I hope this tutorial helped you out. And guys, I look forward to releasing more content like this in the near future.